Hey guys, it's Jess and I'm here with another unboxing. This one is from Rare Earth Orchids and I think I got like four from them. So I'm really excited. He's definitely a fast shipper. Um, yeah, he's a pretty small, I guess, orchid nursery. He, um, he has this like Excel spreadsheet and he'll send it to his email subscribers and then like at a certain time I guess it will go on and basically for it's like whoever gets there first gets like the early pick so the early bird gets the worm um, so you definitely have to be early with that if you want specific orchids he mainly does catacetna or catacetna type. Um, I did not know that he did this. I joined the um, the orchid, no the, I think it's catacetum fever fever in a uh, Facebook group, and I noticed a post he had put like two days ago about his orchids, and I've been waiting like for him to put new um, new orchids up so. I got really excited when I saw that. Um, I did get the f four I liked. I wanted um, a Cluesia because that's like my favorite Cassetne type orchid. But I don't think I got any Cluesias. So let's get started. Um, he does ship on bare roots, so kind of sucks. But yeah, and they're pretty. They're pretty cheap, so yeah, you get to choose from small size, and then near blooming size, and then blooming size, and division. Like the small ones are pretty cheap, so they they can vary from eight, like six to twelve dollars. So that's pretty good. Yeah, so it's packaged. So here it is. And one of them is like definitely way bigger than the others, and I think I know what that one is. What's this here? It was like a hair or something that was poking me. Okay. So here they are. And we'll start with the smaller ones first and leave this one at the end so oh oh wait yeah I was thinking there were five for some reason but yeah um, I'm going to start with this one and you can see like the leaves poking out already so, um, oh I can't open this I don't want to damage the plant There's this hair that keeps poking me and it makes me itch. Okay. So this one is. I don't know. I don't know what this one is. Does it say. Okay. This one is Catacetum Chuck Taylor. And I think it's barely coming out of dormancy, so yeah. Here it is. Yeah, um, it doesn't have any. Oh, let me try to take this off. Yeah, it's not putting out any roots, it barely, so I'm not going to water it yet, even though like the back bulb is really shoveled up. This one I'm not going to start watering until it's like three inches or so, because it's already leafed out. So, yeah, I'm going to wait maybe like a week more, and then it should already have put out a lot of, um, 
a lot of new roots. There's a lot. I just swept my room, guys, like, like, really often because with the past videos, I don't know, things get everywhere. And now I have, like, dirt or something on my floor because it came with this or pieces of small bark. Yeah. Okay. This next one is way easier to open. And... Oh, this one's really small too. And this one is 144. This one, oh, I did get Chloeisiums. I lied. I got two Chloeisiums. Anyways, this one is Chloeisium um, upper echelon, echelon, echelon. Yeah. I'm going to write all the names down in the description because you guys know I can't pronounce names so and this one is coming out of dormancy too wow okay well it's already out of dormancy but it's definitely gonna grow because look at the back bulb and look at the new growth it needs the growth needs to be either the same size as the back bulb or bigger and here it is um it is really shoveled up. This one, I think it's even more shoveled up than the other one. So, yeah, poor little orchid. Okay, the next one is definitely bigger than the rest. So yeah, the, um, the upper echelon one, echelon, whatever. This one was the cheapest one, so it's six dollars. You guys can definitely experiment with these. If it's like your first time getting orchids or um, catacetum orchids, you can definitely experiment experiment with them because the shipping is not expensive, and these orchids are definitely not expensive. This one was eight dollars. Again, it's not expensive. So it's definitely for um, starters or for people who are who've been looking for certain catacetums or for people who just like getting new orchids like me well I like getting new orchids and I'm also um, a catacetum newbie so two out of the three this one is 18 this is Clawesium Pierre Corat yeah I think that's how you pronounce it and oh it has a lot of bark like small pieces of bark here it is it's yeah this one oh it's brown from here oh no I'm hoping that is not rot or anything so you guys can see oh you guys can't see it can you guys see that like brown thing right there it looks like it leads Oh, it definitely looks like rot. You guys can... Oh, look at that. Yeah, I'm going to check this out. Hopefully it's not rot. Yeah, because this is the new... The new one. But yeah, it looks like it's... As good roots, but they're pretty dried up. So hopefully I'll put up more. Hopefully this isn't rot. Because I really wanted the Pierre Corette. So, fingers crossed. I'll check it out. Um, and then the last one is this one. This one's the bigger one. And this one is... Um... Catacetum Jamie Lawson. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a catacetum. It doesn't say... What it is. But I'm pretty sure it's Jamie Lawson. Uh, Catacetum Jamie Lawson's. Jamie Lawson XO... XO. Yeah. Let's see. Yep. 
this one is. I'm gonna have to sweep my room again. It's really messy down here, but yeah, this is it's definitely way bigger. It also was more more expensive one. It was fifteen dollars. So it's not expensive, but it's the most expensive ones from ones I got. And definitely this one needs to be repotted. And yeah. Um its back bulb isn't that shriveled up compared to the other ones and the new the new bulb is way bigger than the old one but yeah it looks good definitely way better than this one with the potential rot yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna have to check it out because the leaves are like way limper than the other ones so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i will um repot these and probably in just full sphagnum moss and put like packing peanuts that i got from my last with my last package because if you guys did see that video i have like a huge box with just like a lot of packing peanuts it only came with one orchid but yeah i'm gonna um get a pot and then like on the bottom the first layer is going to be packing peanuts so the water doesn't like the uh, orchid doesn't stay in the in the water when I water it and then the top layer is going to be sphagnum moss I will also probably be putting time release fertilizer there because these are still definitely growing I was not expecting them to be growing I thought they were going to be close to dormancy because the, yeah this is definitely growing it's so tiny it's cute but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy the video and if you did leave a like please thank you so i peeled the um, the dry layer and look at this guys this is definitely like rot or something because it goes like inside here i think on the other side you can also see look at this yeah it's kind of disappointing I'll see if I can try to try to save it or something. I don't know if I'll just have to cut it off. But I don't know if the back bulb is going to survive because it's really shriveled up unless it puts out a new growth. We'll have to see though. But yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about this orchid. I'm definitely going to have to email the, the vendor. I think his name is like Steven or Steven or something like that but yeah um yeah this is kind of sad because i really wanted this orchid yeah i might have to cut it off from from this one because it is going to die if it is rot because i feel like it's too far developed already or maybe it's not but yeah, it looks like maybe water got in between the leaves and that's what caused this. But hopefully this could be saved.